Glenfield, what's the matter? Is there a fire? Looks like the burglar alarm went off. Are we being robbed? I doubt it. Burglars stay away from the castle. Then turn off the alarm before I go mad. Rover was responsible for security, but now he's gone. I don't even know where the control panel might be. Do you know anything? I know that it's somewhere here in the parlor. Hello everyone, it's Fubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Vampireville. That alarm definitely is annoying. Um, so, in the last episode, Rover and his masters, the Duke and the Duchess, were finally at peace because they had find their, found their heir, which is Brandon. So now we must hopefully quickly turn off the alarm system and find uh, by finding the control panel. Oh man, that is that is gonna drive me crazy. This reminds me of um, cassette tapes. I'm trying to rewind them. Okay, there's a the control panel. Here's the control panel. Uh, Glenfield, do you know the code? No, but I still have Rover's notes. They should contain some clues. I'm gonna miss Rover. Whoa, that's a lot of text. Figure out the code to the alarm system. Okay. Okay, so I thought it was um, 1377, but it was 1387. Um, and I got a G and M from the this this note that said Glenfield and Mary. Look at all those wires. Looks like there's a problem with the wires, sir. Glenfield, you just keep amazing me with your <laughs> awe-inspiring powers of observation. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so let me get this sorted. Well done, sir. It's time to deal with Mr. Rockwell. Will it be difficult? Not really. Let's go to the <laughs> art gallery. Gentlemen, we must quickly cure Mr. Rockwell. Go ahead, Glenfield. For the conversion ritual, we'll need the claw of a bat, candles, and a teaspoon. I'll go get the teaspoon while you get the rest of the stuff. Is he joking? Where will we get that stuff? There are plenty of candles in this room. I'll give you a drawing so you can properly arrange them. As for bats, they are the denizens of this castle, and they love fruit. Never heard of a conversion ritual to turn someone into a vampire, but okay. Collect all the candles. There's the last candle. Done. Now we must arrange the candles according to the drawing. Michael, this is ridiculous. No, sir. Just an average day <laughs> here in the castle. Arrange the candles in the correct order. Ooh. Oh. 
Okay, there you go. Pretty much just like with the blood and the herbs, it's like Ghostbusters. You couldn't have the strings crossing. Now we must catch a bat. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Glenfield said that bats love fruit. We'll lure it in. Fruit bats. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Caught the bat. Excellent gentlemen, I can see you're ready. Mr. Rockwell, here's a teaspoon with my blood. Now cut your arm with the bat's claw. Squeeze out a couple of drops of your blood into the spoon. Warm the blood with a candle. And now? Now slowly pour the blood onto the cut while chanting. Vampire blood of the right type cuts down on the number of corpses. What a cute mantra. <laughs> Vampire blood of the right type cuts down on the number of corpses. Vampire blood of the right type cuts down on the number of corpses. Vampire blood of the right type cuts down on the number of corpses. That's enough. That's it. Mr. Rockwell is a vampire now. All he needs now is a certificate. It's true. I'm starting to feel different. But where did this ridiculous ritual come from? I'd guess Glenfield read about it on the internet. Well, we could have just mixed my blood with Mr. Rockwell's, but this was far more interesting. Wasn't it, sir? <laughs> Welcome to Malgray, Mr. Rockwell. <laughs> did it really work? <laughs> I love uh, Glenfield just trolling Mr. Rockwell. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop here for now. That's a um, good ending to stop at. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Okay, bye.